In this video I will be showing you how to make a programming cable or a simulator cable for your FlySky FSI6. It's a pretty popular transmitter and um, before people go out and try and fly, fly their drones I really think they should have a little bit of practice with this. So on the back of here we have an S video port and we're going to be making a S video cable to microphone or headphone jack cable. Um, it's going to be a DIY project. I'm going to show you what you're going to need for this. You're going to need a soldering iron, a S video cable, whether you find it um, from an old device or you can buy it somewhere like Walmart like I did. You're going to need a headphone jack, a male one that you're not using. Wire strippers are going to make your job a lot easier because some of these wires are very small and electrical tape, as well as an exacto knife. So some of the items I do recommend are heat shrink tubing instead of using the electrical tape, which you will also need a lighter for to shrink it. So let's move on to the project. So we're going to get all of our uh, cables out, the S video and headphone jack. We want to clip the cable right at their longest point so that we can actually have lots of room to plug it into our computer. So as you can see you need to have an S-Video cable with the male pin sticking out and of course this can plug into the back of our transmitter. So I have an S-Video at both ends of this specific cable so I can just cut out the end of whichever one and then it's the same for my headphone jack cable. Alright, so now we have these exposed wires and we want to peel it back, uh, I would say around an inch and a half for each of the cables. So it's going to give us lots of working room. So this is where a lot of people get stumped. When they expose their S video cable, they're going to find four wires, which is uh, what it should be. Um, and then for the headphone jack, it really depends. There's either going to be three or four wires and then on top of that there's going to be different colors most of the time. But in this case I can say for sure that if you are finding a black wire or a um, a stranded um, loose copper wire um, those are both definitely the ground so those are 100% um, confidently going to be connected to each other whereas these signal wires which is what the yellow white red are for on the S video and then we have white and red so um we're actually going to be only going to be using two wires one of them is ground for sure and the other one is signal and voltage um so you can try connecting the two whites together you can try connecting the two reds together you can try connecting the white or red to the yellow you're just gonna have to do a bunch of fiddling around um, and right now I might as well show you what application you're gonna need to figure this stuff out but before we dink around with the simulator we need to strip all these wires so I recommend doing it about half an inch down and um, we're also gonna solder up our ground because we already know that those two have to be connected to each other so let's just move on with that so as you can see, I have the ground wires soldered up together. I also pre tin the other ones just to keep them from fraying. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. Well, actually, no, I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna give you a link to download a program called Smart Propo Plus, and that's going to allow you to change the language in between the transmitter and turn it into the one that the simulator is going to use. So when we have that open, we're going to just going to attach two of the wires together at a time to see which ones will give us a combination where we're actually getting a reading inside of that program. And then once we find that out, we're going to solder those two wires together and clip the other ones. So after doing my testing, I found out that the yellow wire coming out of the S-Video cable connects to the red wire uh, coming out of the microphone cable. 
or the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, whatever you want to call it. So um, I'm just going to solder these two together. I'm going to clip these wires. I think these wires are going to be safe, but for this one over here, the white wire could actually come in contact with this ground because it is exposed wire. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of heat shrink over top of that to make sure that it doesn't touch it and um, make anything bad happen because I really want to uh, do a good job here. Alright, so now I got the wires soldered up. It'll autofocus that. I guess not, but anyway, um, I forgot to put shrink tubing over top of this wire here to cover it up, so now I'm just going to use some electrical tape over top of it. And also I did shorten the wires just to um, keep it less messy. Alright, and this is the finished product for the cable. Uh, so now I can finally get out and start practicing on the simulator with my FSI6 transmitter. Probably the most popular transmitter out there for mini quads, to be honest. Um, so I think this video is pretty useful to many out there. Um, yep, so the this end plugs into the microphone port of my laptop, and this plugs into my transmitter. And um, in Smart Propo Plus, I selected for the PPM output, Wakera, and that's what seems to work for me. It is a little bit buggy, it does like to glitch just a tiny bit, but it didn't get any better with any of the other options, and plus this one was actually coordinated with the throttle properly. Alright, so um, that's it for this video. Leave a like if you found this useful. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comment section down below. I'm sure to answer you, and um, I will talk to you later.